Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Kansas with a soft tart who goes by the name of Anthony Dubs. All lowercase, I suppose. But anyway, he's pulled over because he has no tags, he has no license, and everything like that. Typical sovereign citizen BS. You know the drill. And he pulls out all the stops in this one, too. Now, we, before we get on with the show, uh, I just want to let you know that I would normally leave a link in the description for this particular soft hard, but apparently a couple hours after I downloaded it off of his uh, YouTube page, he ended up removing it. So, but not to worry anyway, because whenever I looked on his uh, video, he had uh, made sure that nobody could leave comments anyway. So, he was into one-way communication, and that is very much clear from this video anyway. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi. Uh... No, and I'm going to let you know right now that you're being recorded for my purposes and for okay, your purposes if we fine. need to go to court. Um, okay, but you got no tags, so are you aware of that? Is that your emergency? It's it's not an emergency. You have to have a, a uh, tag on your vehicle if uh, you're going to drive. I'm sorry, what's your name and badge number? Officer Saint Vrain, ID 2509. This could go awesome, really easy, you. man, or this um, could go really difficult, okay? Uh, I don't, you've and got, I also, I want, you, okay. I want to let you know that I am not driving i am traveling oh, okay. i'm not so using you, this okay. okay as a we're not, vehicle we're not gonna go down this, this is an yeah sounds like the officer's been through this kind of thing before with you stupid little sovereign citizens so let's see what he has to say private automobile okay, do you have id on you um what crime have i committed well the officer's already stated that you have no license plate on your vehicle and kansas state law requires that you have a license plate on your vehicle there are no exceptions for your particular scenario in the law and by that i mean you smooth brain soft hearts who just don't seem to get it it's an infraction you don't have a tag on i'm not going to do this with you man i'm sorry i've got other stuff that i could be doing an infraction is not a crime i don't care i don't care what you're going to say i need your identification i need proof of insurance you do not have a tag on your vehicle, so you need to provide that to me. That would be if I was driving in a commercial capacity. Can you please get your sergeant? Sorry, but incorrect. There is no provision for that in anywhere in the Kansas law, nor is there any provision for it in any other law in the United States, nor around the world. I don't know what Savtard guru you've been watching, but uh, he's definitely fat fed you some bad information. So, you need what you need to do is go study up on the actual laws instead of what these Savtard tend to feed you. Six six one, could you start me one? I'm ten four. He's not complying. No, that's not the case. Yes, I you're, have you're, ID. You're not complying. I have ID, but it's okay. not for commercial purposes. I don't, I don't care what commercial, non-commercial purposes you have. Well, I'm not following commercial law. I'm following common law, sir. Hey, uh, Savtard, the sooner you realize that the UCC doesn't run this country, the better off you'll be. He's a sovereign citizen. No, I'm not. That's not you, okay. moron. Okay. Black no, law. Just give me, give me your ID. Black law dictionary. Okay, give me uh, your ID. Black's me, Law okay. Dictionary. This is under duress, by the way. What's under duress? Being forced to, without my full consent. Well now, let me tell you something, dude. Uh, here's a brief summary of uh, why there are traffic laws. The Tenth Amendment allows the states to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. States hold elections for uh, lawmakers that uh, are elected by the people to create laws that are needed for a properly running government. 
and to ensure there be no anarchy on the highways, laws were created to ensure that people were licensed, insured, and everything like that. So, and there's an understanding about being a citizen of the United States. You just can't pick and choose laws that you don't like to follow. You've got to follow every single one of them or, well, there'll be consequences for it. And you just can't declare yourself sovereign and not uh, follow the laws and expect the police officers to abide by that. I, in fact, I dare you to go to any other country in the world and try that. Oh, and I would love to see you go to Australia to try that because they're really cracking down on that kind of BS. Okay. Do, you have, do you have a... Do you have a, a state ID from the state of Kansas? No. I mean, I guess that is the state, or that is from Kansas State, not the state of Kansas, though. What do you mean, from the state of Kansas? From Kansas State instead of state of Kansas, meaning this is from the land and soil jurisdiction of common law and not the corporate jurisdiction that is the state of Kansas. The stupid is definitely strong with this one. The guy can't even tell the difference between a uh, state and a corporation. Do you have insurance on your car? I assume not. No. Why not? I'm not using it for commercial what purposes. What happens if you run into somebody? How are you going to pay for that? A good question, and that is one that I tend to ask in many of the sovereign citizen videos that I do. It's none of your business. Oh, just curious. That's why I you don't have to have questions. insurance. If you're traveling, commerce, non-commerce, any of that kind of stuff, and you run into somebody else, let's say somebody else is traveling, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I don't just, answer just, questions. Okay. Let me translate that for you. I haven't thought that far ahead because I am unaware of the existence of other people on the public roadways. So therefore, I don't really concern myself with such matters. There's no need to do it. I didn't figure so. Yeah. Okay. So do you have any other form of ID on you? I have my... Not with your social security number when you were born at a hospital. I have my two witness forms that go off of my birth certificate, but I, I'm not going to give that unless under duress. What is, what is your definition of under duress? Being coerced and forced to without my actual consent. Let me ask you something, dude. Do you walk into your uh, job every day and say that to your boss? Because I can guarantee you, if you had that same attitude with a lot of employers, your ass would be out the door. Uncover your VIN number. Are you trying to see if the vehicle is stolen? Yes. Okay. Because you don't have a tag on it. I can provide you with the title of it okay hand it to me hold on and awesome there's the title I'm sorry, do not touch my vehicle. Okay. Do not touch I'm, my automobile. I'm going to. Um you're not allowed to search. I'm not I'm not searching. I'm looking at you the You touched my that vehicle. You, that is fine. an unauthorized okay. search. Okay. No, I'm not the searching. Vehicle, so You just did. No. You leaned into a vehicle. Are you a sergeant? He's right there if you got any questions. Hi. What's your name and badge number? You can roll down your window or I'm not These talking. windows don't roll down. I'm sorry. I'm not going to step out of my private automobile. To talk about, do we? I'm sorry, what's your name and badge number? Sergeant Cooper, ID number 1882. Sergeant Cooper, ID 1882. That's right. And uh, what is this other gentleman? 1869 Landon. 1669 Landon? 1869. 1869 Landon. Awesome, thank you. I appreciate that. officer's done with your ticket and your citation will be on our way. Um, sorry, I, I wish not to uh, contract with you guys. Dude, grow up. This is not a contract. This is the law. You have violated several of them so far. 
grow the F up, get out of this fantasy world, and take a look at how the world really works. Because I can guarantee you, all this sovereign citizen BS that you've been fed over these past few years is a total lie. It just tends to overcomplicate anything that's already complicated enough as it is. I can't hear you when you're sitting inside the car. I'm sorry, I wish to not contract with you guys. I'm not asking you to contract anything. Well, that's what a ticket is, is a uh, proposition of contract. No, dude, that's not what a traffic ticket is. A traffic ticket is simply meaning that you violated a traffic law, therefore you are going to pay a penalty on that. It is not a contract in any way, shape, or form. No, it's not. Uh, yes, it actually is. Per commercial law, yes. Please cite the exact commercial law so that I may debunk it. forcing you to take care of it within 10 days. But you are forcing me to contract by giving me that ticket. When I've told you I do not wish to contract and this this is not a vehicle. I am not driving. This is an uh, private automobile. I am traveling. Dude, automobile and vehicle are essentially similes of each other. They are so closely intertwined that you cannot find one without the other in a definition. Dude, you are a bloody moron. And I'm not conducting commerce on these roadways. It's not a game. You this is law. Talk all you want. Once he's done, he will issue the citation and you can go about your business. Okay. Which I hope you guys have the uh, uh, forms for rescission on it. That's between you and the courts, I guess. I don't know what that means. Uh... Every contract. I don't care to be. Okay. I don't care to be talked to about your ideologies. It's not ideology, sir. It's law. It's not opinion. It is actual factual law. All right. Well, that's something for a court to decide. So you're you saying. You're welcome to go to the court and fight this citation in court. So you're saying that my rights are uh, just able to be violated all the time here? I mean, that's obviously what you're doing. I'm wishing not to contract, and uh, it is my right to wish or not whether I contract. And uh, I do not appreciate your officer touching my vehicle. Oops, Freudian slip. You just said vehicle. Kind of makes me wonder if you don't entirely buy into all this BS to begin with. Touching my automobile without consent when I was uncovering the VIN number up front. Yes, and I was providing him the VIN number and the title to prove that it was not stolen and it is under my ownership. So how often does this work for you? Um, well, I've been uh, traveling for a little over half a month now. Haven't been pulled over. Uh, I'm just waiting until I get. No, uh, I've been. Uh, I'm waiting to get uh, private traveler's plates that are uh, non-UCC um, or for non or for non-commercial purposes um, that tell you and show and prove to you guys that I am not conducting in commercial capacity when you see it rather than having to stop me and figure all this out right now and if you were smart enough to actually do your research and actually watch some youtube videos and see that that kind of thing doesn't work then maybe you'd uh, actually try to do some better research and figure out that these supposed uh sovereign citizen Gurus are full of shit. And uh, the oxymoron your officer used as a sovereign citizen, it, it's, it doesn't mean anything. Sovereign, if you look up Black's Law 
de definitions of what a sovereign is and then what a citizen is, they are, they are two different things. I am not a citizen. Oh, so have you renounced your citizenship to this country? Or were you ever a citizen to begin with? Just asking, because even a non-citizen still has to follow the laws of this country. And that goes the same for a United States citizen if they go to the United Kingdom, France, or even Saudi Arabia. We still have to follow the laws of that country or face the consequences. Okay. Just letting you know that. We're not INS, so, or Homeland Security or anything like that, so it doesn't matter to us if you're a citizen or not. Okay. And uh, okay. can you tell me why he's running code for a uh, non-emergency? He, he also blipped his uh, um, sirens, which sirens are fine, but the actual code code... For a non-emergency? Uh, I don't know what you're referring to. Uh, red and blue flashing lights. Right. For non-emergency. Whereas he, he uh, sounded his siren. To tell you to pull over. The siren? Supposed to yell out the window at you? He used the siren. Yeah, we do it all the time. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. But out. the blue light, the blue and red lights for non-emergencies? Yes, we use those every day. I'm sorry, you're committing uh, fraud and violations every day then. Well now, if that isn't the pot calling the kettle black, here you are committing all sorts of violations against the law, thinking that you're above the law, and you're trying to tell them that using the lights and sirens, which is perfectly legal and that they use every day, is a fraud or a, another crime altogether. Man, you are a freaking idiot! If you're if you are using the siren at the same time hmm. Hi, what's your name and badge number? Kempling 2304. 2304 Kempling? Kempling 2304. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate Hi. that. Oh, um, it's actually on there. Yeah. Uh, a little longer than a few minutes later. I'm sorry, I, I don't, I'm not using it for commercial purposes and I wish not to answer questions about anything else okay. in regards. Um, officer, sergeant. Um, officer, I, I do have here a uh, intent a fee schedule of which if you guys wish to provide me a uh, proposal of contract in the form of a citation of a ticket I would need you guys to read this and be aware of what you are trying to have me contract to before I contract to it okay okay um, I have here a intent a fee schedule a what? an intent a fee schedule for um basically if you guys wish to contract with me you have to um abide by my provisions of contract as well which i was i don't know what you mean by contract i bring up the court so, though with you yeah i take it to court well, I, I have to let you guys know as you guys are the ones issuing the contract to me in the form of a citation ticket. I'll bring it to court for sure. Okay. Um, which. Duly not, it's on Axon there, on, on video. So, so are, you, recorded that you, are you accepting and refusing to I'm see not these? I'm accepting anything. So you're, you're refusing to see these? Yeah, I'm refusing to see those. Okay, then. I would like to see your insurance. So I don't have to write you a ticket for knowingly 13, driving, no insurance. 12. Well, I would only need insurance if I was operating in a commercial capacity. I don't believe so. That is the law. Uh, yeah. On, on this isn't a vehicle. This is a private automobile. Oh, okay. A vehicle is a commercial term. Okay. I am non-commercial. That was from prior. Oh. 
which I am not conducting any commerce right now. No, but you do in this vehicle. No. No? No, not anymore. Okay. I stopped that um, the 30th of April. I don't answer questions for prior incidents. <laughs> Alright. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. So the officer's gonna come up, he's gonna issue the citation. You don't have to sign it. That's fine. He's gonna if you don't want to touch it, he'll put it in your car through the window and you can be on about your business. You'll have ten days to take care of that citation. Okay? By receiving it, it's not a mission of guilt, just that you received a copy of it. Alright? There'll be a number circled on the bottom that you can call and send them for a court date if you so desire. Any other questions? Well, now I am just going to end the video right here. Uh, the police officers end up leaving them there after they issue them the tickets. But it seems clear afterwards that he is unwilling to learn anything. In fact, he continues when they're gone to state the same things that he's been saying over and over again about contracts and everything like that. Now, whether or not he goes and fights it in court, I don't know entirely because guess what? Like I said at the beginning of the video, he ended up taking the video down only about two hours after I downloaded it. So he may have lost and he may be embarrassed by the whole damn thing because he didn't get his way. He found out the hard way that that kind of life, the sovereign citizen life, doesn't exactly pay, and he might have found out how much of an idiot he is. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.